Charles E's, Charles E's, everything you need to know, when you need to know it, man. Had a big night of fights right now, tonight, this weekend. Had Julian J. Rock Williams headlining in Philly in his hometown. But first we had Chris Colbert taking on a tough, tough veteran fighter, a former champion. That was back and forth. You know, Cobra got the Cobra got the knockdown in the tenth round. B Hop, young prime time Chris Cobra out of Brooklyn, Flat Bush. He got the job done to win a vacant belt. Then that brought us up to speed on the main event. Julian J. Rock Williams, first time in a long time defending in his hometown, Philadelphia. All the fighters was out. Bernard Hopkins, Danny Garcia, the young and up and young up and coming fighter, Jared Ennis, Mr. Boots. Man, a big night of fights. But J. Rock Williams, the guy he was fighting, is so hungry. Was so hungry. I mean, I seen this guy training. This guy was so hungry. Left his family for 16 weeks. Train lived down near in a, in a little hut, if I am mistaken, down in Miami. Man, somewhere in Florida, the shit was crazy. The living condition just well enough for him to train. But J. Rock Williams defending that belt for the first time, coming off that big, big stoppage over Jerry Hurd. Man, J. Rock, he's still hungry. A champion. They say once you become a champion, you become a better fighter, man. This fight started Rosario versus Julian Williams in the front of the hard, hard Philly hometown fans. Man, a lot of back and forth action. J-Rock, he came out looking very sharp, pumping a jab, using his angles. Then all of a sudden, in the second, I believe it was the second or third round, J-Rock got hit with like a jab. He started pawing at that eyebrow, pawing at that, that eyelid, man. It was a cut right there. And slowly, that's when the fight started to change, man. Dude just loading up. I mean, not to take nothing away from Rosario. This this kid, he, man, he came in. He was focused. I, I mean, I I kind of seen it. I ain't see the... I ain't see the upset, but man, this dude was focused. But J-Rock, once he got that eye cut, it was almost a wrap. Then the fifth round came around. J-Rock just couldn't hold off the young kid. He was so strong. He could barely, barely see out of one eye. But, man, let's not give this no excuses. Let's not give this no excuses. This dude, he was hungry. Rosario, he came in, fought his heart out. He got the win, got his belt, sacrificed seeing his family, went into training for 16 weeks, man. Just a great, great upset. Man, derailed J-Rock Williams on the road from unifying with the Charlo. Jamel Charlo, who came off the knockout win over Tony Harrison. So this sets up a showdown more than likely with Charlo and Rosario, man. I want to know who y'all got. What y'all think went wrong for J-Rock in this fight? He definitely will be back, man. Definitely will be back. Heart of a champion. He picked himself up before. Climbed back to the top of the boxing world. I think he could do it again, man. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all get in the comments, man. Subscribe, share, like this video. Fuck with your boy, man. Rosario. He dug it out. Upset, man. Hey. When you train your whole life for something, man. When you got your goals set. Got your mind set on your goals and train your whole life. Preparation meets opportunity. That's success, y'all. That's achievement. J-Rock will be back, but we got a new champion right now. This kid, Rosario, got the job done, man. Man, power in both hands. Big 154-pounder. I mean, what can I say? Shit, I wouldn't mind seeing the rematch without a cut, but if you Rosario, you move on. You try to unify with Charlo, man. Charles East, everything you need to know.